This is Matthew Cratters, Bitcoin University. Today, I want to answer the question, does Bitcoin Core actually care about mining pool centralization? Mining pool centralization is a problem because in the current world, there's only a few actors who get to decide what gets included in each Bitcoin block. And they get to decide that because they build the block templates that everyone else hashes on. So we can see here that there are just a few groups that get to do this. Matt Corral from Bitcoin Core pretends to care about this problem. He writes here all this because some Bitcoin Core contributors thought that mining centralization was kind of important. It's a shame so many in the community appear to disagree. This is the worst form of gaslighting. Bitcoin Core's argument for blowing open the op return filters was that if we don't blow open the op return filters, then people will submit their large op return transactions directly to big mining pools for a fee, thus increasing large mining pool revenues at the expense of smaller pools, which don't have the same good chance of getting your direct submission into the next block. But do Bitcoin Core supporters actually care about mining pool centralization at other times of the day? In other words, when they're not busy seeking philosophical justifications for their latest pro-spam update. And I would say I don't think that they do. For example, the Ocean team has come up with a way called Datum for every miner, for every hasher, to build their own block templates, whether they're hashing for Ocean or solo mining. And this completely solves mining pool centralization if enough people start using it. Since the whole problem with mining pool centralization is just a few actors, as we said, getting to build block templates and thus having control over what gets into blocks worldwide. But here's the weird thing. In spite of this solution, in spite of Datum existing, it's never recommended by Bitcoin Core supporters. Bitcoin Core supporters not only never recommend Ocean or Datum, but then they do everything they can to undermine Luke and Mechanic and Ocean at every opportunity while pushing their own failed solution instead, which is Stratum V2. This is Matt Corallo's baby, and it has been a complete failure as far as I can tell. It's never mind a single mainnet block while Ocean and Datum continue to crank out blocks every single day and every single week. If you're finding this video interesting so far, I'll just pause really briefly here to ask you to help to support this channel's educational mission. Hit the subscribe button, that does really help. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video. Share this video with a friend or family member. Then we come to the topic of UTXO bloat. A UTXO is just a chunk of Bitcoin that can still be spent. It's short for unspent transaction output. And the UTXO set is all current chunks of Bitcoin that can still be spent. The problem here is that Bitcoin's UTXO set has exploded ever since the, inscri the inscriptions exploit in early 2023. We can see where it started here, call it March or April of 2023. And the size of the UTXO set went from about five or six gigabytes here to its current level of about 11, 11 and a half gigabytes. If we want to see another version of that, we can see right here is when inscriptions hype started. And then the pay to taproot address is where much of the bloat is, is this blue area here. And it's been a problem because of inscriptions. As Ghost points out here, uh, since February 2023, the UTXO set has tripled in size. Pay to taproot Bitcoin address, addresses became the most common output. 89% of pay to taproot, taproot outputs hold dust. And 62% of all the dust is in these outputs. So this is the problem. Bitcoin Core refused to fix this inscription's exploit, which has caused so much of this UTXO bloat. What did they do instead? Instead, they sneakily changed the documentation in order to define the problem out of existence. And I think this particular smoking gun is more than sufficient evidence to fire most of the current lead maintainers who colluded to do this. And I'll put a link to this video in the description notes below so you can go down that particular rabbit hole. Now, why does UTXO bloat matter when it comes to the current topic of mining centralization? Here's why it matters, because to be competitive as a Bitcoin miner, you need to hold the entire UTXO set in RAM, not just on disk and not just a subset of it. If you want to be competitive, you have to hold the entire UTXO set in RAM. The current UTXO set is now, as we said, about 11, 11 and a half gigabytes on disk, but it's actually 50 gigabytes or approximately five times, call it 50, 55 gigabytes if it's held fully in RAM because the disk version is obviously compressed. So that's already a huge burden for small miners having to deal with 50, 55 gigabytes of RAM. That burden could have been eased years ago if all the Bitcoin core devs didn't have Luke Dasher derangement syndrome and had been willing to apply his patch to stop Bitcoin inscription spam and thus slow down UTX so set bloat. 
But again, here's the thing, Bitcoin core devs seem to care more about protecting their fiefdom than they do about actually doing the right thing for either node runners or small miners. They only invoke mining centralization when they have some new spam to sell you. And the funny thing is that blowing out op return is not even going to help stop inscription spam since it's still going to be 75% cheaper to spam using inscriptions and getting the witness discount than it will be to spam using op return. This idea for this video came from Samson Mao in this interview that he did with What Bitcoin Did. So I definitely recommend watching that. And he had this excellent post here. The Bitcoin UTXO set is 11 gigabytes now. At current growth rates, it will exceed 128 gigs in 2035, preventing many people from running nodes. In 2043, it will exceed one terabyte and many larger mining operations will struggle to run nodes. So if you extrapolate, this is just, I believe all these numbers are for the storage amount of the UTXO set. So if you multiply these by five, you get uh, over 600 gigs in 2035, and then over five terabytes in 2043. And this is why UTXO bloat is such a problem. It's especially a problem if you want to decentralize mining as Bitcoin Core supporters claim that they want to do, but yet when it comes to UTXO bloat, they're unwilling to do anything about it. And they're willing to leave the inscriptions exploit wide open, which contributes every day even more to UTXO bloat. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.